Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer Cottage Garden. You might just hear faintly in the distance that there's a music festival on, which is an occasion full of jollification and happiness for family and friends. What's not full of jollification is me coming out into my garden today and realising that my potatoes have got You heard, they've got That's right, blight. So it's a bit of a mission this, um, it's pouring down with rain, I've got an umbrella above the camera just to protect it so it doesn't break, but I want to get them out now, if I leave it any longer I'm worried that the actual crop itself won't be any good, so I think it's in my interest to just pull these and see what we're dealing with. I'll also be glad to get the space back because I've got quite a few little bits and pieces to plant out as well, so we'll get started and see what there is. That's one potato, there's actually some whoppers in the mix here. Well, sorry I couldn't show you me harvesting all of these, but it's just been a little bit tricky with the rain to get the camera shots in, but as you can see, it's definitely worth listening to Mother Nature. If she tells you the plants have got blights and they've got to be pulled up, then they've got to be pulled up. If I'd have picked these in August and they came out like this, to be honest, I would have been happy with the crop. Next, I was going to go on and sow some seeds in the greenhouse, but I'm worried that I'm covered in blight and I'm soaking wet and that's how blight spreads and I just don't want to send it over to my tomatoes. So I'm thinking I'm going to get myself cleaned up and we'll come back out tomorrow. It's the next day now and I'm really pleased I got those out of the ground yesterday, even though it was a bit wet and miserable. I've got to be honest, I quite like rolling around in the mud. Uh, it was quite good fun. But I thought to myself yesterday that I'd come in here, sow a few seeds. That didn't happen because I was worried I might transfer the blight over to my tomato plants. So I left it overnight. You know, I've got things going so well in here at the minute. Some lovely opalcas, big plum variety, and some Italian beefsteaks that are just doing so well at the minute that it'd be such a shame if they got blight. So I'm back in here today and I'm going to sow some pak choy. But before I get going with that, just a Big thank you to all my new subscribers this week. I've noticed the jump since I did the collaboration with Gemma's allotment, which was great fun. Really enjoyed that. If you haven't seen it, go over to her channel uh, and have a look. So we're going to sow some pak choy. This is something that I really like to sow this time of year and also in early spring. It doesn't like it being too hot. So by the time August is out the way, I mean, to be honest, it'd be happy at the minute because the weather's rubbish. But by the time the warm weather of August is out of the way, um, these will crop nicely throughout the autumn and I'm going to pick them quite small and have them really nice and tender in my stir fries. I'm just going to sow these quite thinly across this seed tray, top them up with a little bit of compost, see what comes up and then we'll prick them out into modules ready to be planted out in the garden. And something that's bringing me a lot of joy at the moment, I have to say, are my squash. The variety that you're seeing out there on camera is Blue Hungarian and the seeds were given to me by Cam over at Five Rob Farm in Suffolk. He runs a no-dig farm out there selling a lot of his produce to local pubs and also farmers markets, places like that. So someone to keep an eye on because I think he'll be launching a YouTube channel um, quite soon too. Thanks for watching me today. Like I say, just getting my hands dirty, a few things out the ground. I've got space to be planting things out again. And also I've been working on a top secret gardening project, which I forgot to mention. Um, no hints yet what it is, but uh, you'll start to see it around October, I'd say, perhaps, maybe a little bit earlier. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.